hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in Windows application how to insert multiple selected checkbox rows from data grid view into database and here we got the form 1 output I'm selecting the ID 1 Charan Peter Karan Save selected rows and if here we got a message selected records inserted successfully. Let's check in the database table. I'm executing the statement and notice here we got the results. The selected checkbox values from a data grid view control is inserting successfully into this table. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new Windows application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the templates, I'm selecting Windows. The Windows Forms application I have selected and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is Selected Checkbox Multiple Rows Insert click OK and the Windows application is successfully created let me expand this design form 1 now in this form 1 page I am adding one data grid view control open toolbox data grid view control now in this data grid view control I am binding the table from SQL Server database Notice there is a small button control which is a grid view task, data grid view task. Choose data source, add project data source. I'm selecting the first option database, click next, next. I'm creating new connection. The server name is After adding server name, I'm selecting the database name, sample db test connection, it succeeded, ok, ok. And here the connection string is added, click next. And this is the connection string name, sample db connection string. And I'm saving this connection string in the app.config file, click next. And from the database objects, I'm expanding the tables. In the tables objects, the employee table I'm selecting, click finish. That's it, we have just binding the data table employee into this data grid view control. Let's check the results. Start. And here we got the output the employee table is binded into this data grid view control up to now we have just finished the first part to bind the table into this data grid view control my next part is i want to add a new column before id for the checkbox control let's do that one close the window double click the form one page it will generate the form load event. Form load event, I'm adding a class data grid view checkbox column chk box is the object name new data grid view checkbox column chk box dot header text. The header text is empty. CHK box dot width. The column width is for the checkbox. I'm adding 30. Checkbox dot name is equals to between double quotes. I'm adding the checkbox name is checkbox column. Now after that, I want to add this checkbox control into a data grid view the first column 
So the first column represents a zero. The array starts with zero. Data grid view one dot columns dot insert method. The insert method takes two parameters. The first one is the integer type column index, which is zero. So the first column. And the second one is a data grid view column, which I'm adding chk box, the object. That's it. We have added the checkbox control to the data grid view. Let's check the results. Start. And here we got the output after we adding the checkbox column to this data grid view control. Now my last condition is. Whatever the checkbox control I have selected in this table, data grid view control, I want to save those all selected checkboxes, rows, and your database table. Let's close the output. Switch to the design mode. Let's add one button control and one label control to display the message the records are inserted or not. Open toolbox. First, we'll add the button control. The button control F four save selected rows. Now next control is a label control. Let's add that one toolbox label control F four. I'm deleting the text label one from the text property. Double click the button control. It will generate the button click event. Now in this code behind the first, I'm adding the namespaces using system dot data dot SQL client. The next namespace using system dot configuration. After adding these two namespaces. Notice the last namespace system dot configuration I have added. The system dot configuration namespace the DLL library is not available in our project references folder. I'm expanding the references folder. Notice there is no any system dot configuration. Let's add the system dot configuration namespace. I click the references, add reference. In the assemblies framework. Find system dot configuration. Select the checkbox. Click OK. And notice we got system dot configuration is added into our project references folder. Let's minimize this one. Now after that, come to the bottom in the button click event. String main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes. So I'm adding the connection string name, which is open app dot config file. Notice the name selected checkbox multiple rows. This is a connection string name. Copy this one. Paste here. Dot connection string. SQL connection. SQL con is equals to new SQL connection. I'm adding main con. I want to insert the values, the selected checkbox from the data grid view control. So we need the data grid view rows for that I'm using for each data grid view row dr in data grid view one dot rows property. Between these curly braces, I'm adding only the selected checkbox rows only. I want to insert. So checkbox is a boolean type bool. Checkbox selected is equals to convert dot to bool and dr dot cells between double quotes. The cell name is checkbox column dot value if chk box 
selected the condition in the if condition only the selected checkbox those I want to insert so let's add string SQL query is equals to now here the SQL query is an insert statement insert into the, the table name is dbo dot selected checkbox rows copy this one this here values here the values the column names at name at email at salary the first column id which is a auto generate column so i don't require to add in the insert statement SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters the first one is a command text SQL query and the second one is a connection object which is a SQL com SQL com dot parameters dot add with value between double quotes at name comma the object value we are getting from the data grid view control. So dr dot cells. The name of the cell, the column number is one and two. The column number cell is two. Dot value semicolon copy this one paste here and the second one is the email the cell number is a 3 copy this one paste here the last column is a salary which is a fourth let's close open the connection string open method and close the connection string SQL con dot close method now between this open and close it's called command dot execute non query method after that once the selected checkbox rows are inserted successfully I want to display the message for that I have user label one dot text is equals to selected records Inserted successfully. That's it. We have done the complete coding part. Let's check the results. Start. And here we got the form one output. I'm selecting the ID one, Charan, Peter, Karan. Save so selected rows. And if here we got a message selected records inserted successfully. Let's check in the database table. I'm executing the statement. And notice here we got the results. The selected checkbox values from a data grid view control is inserting successfully into this table. That's it.